Hi, I'm Lachlan Gardner, a full-time adventure photographer and filmmaker. We're here in my gear room and photography video studio in Brisbane, in southeast Queensland, Australia, and it's raining outside, and I've got a really exciting new camera that I want to talk to you about today. In my hands is the new Lumix S5. This is a full-frame hybrid compact mirrorless body that's a new addition to the Lumix S-Series camera lineup. So far there's been the S1, the S1R and the S1H. These are bigger, more robust full frame cameras. They've got amazing features, amazing functionality, they deliver great results. And now the S5 has joined the family in a smaller, lighter, more compact form factor. When I first picked up the camera, I was struck with just how much lighter and smaller it was. But holding it in its hand, the ergonomics, the rugged weather ceiling, the magnesium alloy body, dual card slots, a lot of the features that I guess I've come to rely on for demanding outdoor adventure work, they're all there. They've just shed a few grams and brought the size in a bit. I've been shooting with the Lumix S series for over a year now, doing all of my full-time adventure commercial work, my outdoor adventure photography, filmmaking, tourism campaigns, a lot of, I guess, demanding work in really, really out there places that requires professional equipment, that's going to just keep working time after time. Doing that in a smaller, lighter form factor, like the S5, that's a game changer for me. Using this camera over the last few days, I've been dangling off the side of a cliff with my camera in hand shooting rock climbers, but to get there, I had to rock climb myself. Instead of, I guess, doing complicated rigging and moving things around, I simply climbed a rock climbing route with this camera attached to my harness in a small bag. I got into position, made myself safe, pulled the camera out, and started shooting. Been able to reach up high, flip out the very angle LCD, in some awkward positions, not a problem. The fact that it's full frame, it's delivering professional grade photos, really robust video codecs, it's just, it's everything I need in a small camera without taking lots of equipment all in one shoot when every gram counts, particularly when you're dangling around in the air or you're walking through the wilderness for days on end with all of your equipment on your back. Paired with the Lumix 20 to 60 mil small little lens here, really compact, but a really useful, unusual zoom range, 20 to 60 mil in a full frame. But for me, it was wide enough to capture the whole scene, but I can also pull in tight to get those tighter crops as I need to. Every gram counts when you're rock climbing, when you're climbing mountains, when you're hiking, when you're doing running gun shooting in general. Having all this in a compact body was really important. My kind of work takes me places where I guess a camera this size is a blessing. But what's really important is the image quality and how robust and amazing the video files are. For me, the full frame raw photos coming out of this 24 megapixel sensor, the same sensor in the S1, and a variation that's in the S1H. I know and love that and I can trust it. The video, it shoots amazing 4K 10-bit files and a really exciting feature is it has quick and slow video mode via a dedicated mode dial. That means I can set the camera to shoot up to 180 frames a second video in 1080p or if I want continuous autofocus to track my subjects through complicated scenes, up and down cliffs, walking through the forest. I can do that up to 120 frames a second with 1080p with continuous autofocus. Another thing I've been shooting over the last few days is some commercial outdoor gear campaign kind of work. Shooting product images, brand videos for some outdoor brand clients. We left at 3.30 a.m. to get to the location in time. Driving through the pouring rain in the dark, we knew it was gonna be a wet shoot. We didn't turn around, we didn't worry at all because the S5 and the rest of the Lumix S1 series such as the S1R, the S1H are weather sealed. Provided that you look after the camera, it will look after you in really demanding conditions and just, I guess, trust in it, having the reliability when I'm outdoors, knowing I can get the shot when the weather turns a bit foul or when the conditions, I guess, aren't perfect means that I can still deliver content to my clients every time. For me, the S5 is going to open up new possibilities. I can climb bigger walls faster because I'm less weighed down. I can go on longer hikes, 
and I can do all of this in a small compact camera that doesn't compromise on image quality, video robustness in its files and ergonomics, weather sealing and overall just reliability. The S5 brings all that to my hands and I'm excited to see what you do with it too.